Introducing the 2025 Best Robotics Competition, Factoids. Artificial intelligence is no longer confined to science fiction. AI is rapidly changing the way we learn, work, and communicate. Companies around the world are investing heavily to create new hardware, software, and infrastructure to support advances in this technology. Best Robotics wants your help to leverage AI by building robots to develop and train an AI system. Factoids is played on a square field with four connected quadrants and a gated central area. Four teams participate in a match, each with a robot, a driver, and a spotter. Robots start the match in the robot starting area in the corner of their quadrant. The objectives of the game are to construct a neural network, collect factoids from multiple data sources, and train the neural network with only the true factoids. Each team has a neural network station with nine nodes. Connections can be added using connection tiles to form a network. Different structures of nodes and connections are good at tackling different kinds of problems. The spotter loads connection tiles on the robot at the robot starting area. Then the robot places the tiles into the neural network. Nodes are connected when the line on the connection tile is touching the painted areas around two nodes. To properly train your neural network, you need to select what task it will be learning. Factoids networks can be trained with one of three tasks, generative AI, machine learning, or computer vision. Robots can select the task for their team's network by turning the handle inside the neural net model selector next to the spotter box. Spotters can see which model is selected by checking the letter visible through the viewport on the model selector. The most important part of training a neural network is having quality training data. In this game, there are four sources of training data. Failbook, the outer area covering all four quadrants of the field. Tweeter, four raised factoid dispensers, one over each quadrant. Wall Street Dispatch, the inner area of the field. And the Library of Content, a single tower at the center of the field. Failbook factoids start the match randomly distributed on the floor of the outer quadrant areas. There are 100 failbook factoids on the field. 40 of them are true. Factoids are different colors to help with field reset, but any team can score any color factoid. Tweeter factoids start in the tweeter towers. Each quadrant has one tweeter tower holding 25 factoids. Five of these factoids are true. To access these factoids, robots must press the tweeter plunger for the tower, which will drop the factoids into the failbook area. Any robot can release factoids from any tweeter tower. Failbook and tweeter factoids are both small spheres. True factoids are heavier and contain ferrous material. These factoids will be different colors, but the colors do not identify true or false factoids. The Wall Street Dispatch is the central area of the field. To access this area, robots must open gates from the failbook area. Each gate has two latches, one on each side. Each latch is color-coded to two teams and may only be opened by those teams. Once both latches on a gate are released, the gate will fall outward, creating a ramp that any robot can use to enter or exit the Wall Street Dispatch area. In the Wall Street Dispatch area, there are 20 factoids randomly distributed on the floor. 16 of these factoids are true. Wall Street Dispatch factoids are closed cylinders. True factoids are heavier and contain ferrous material. The Library of Content is a tower at the center of the field. There are five factoids in the Library of Content. Two on the first shelf, two on the second shelf, and a golden factoid on the third shelf. All of these factoids are true. The golden factoid is a uniquely valuable piece of data and is only accessible to teams who have already scored one of the other Library of Content factoids. Factoids can be scored in one of three ways. Collected factoids are those resting on or held by a robot at the end of the match. Sorted factoids are those in the sorting tray at the end of the match. Robots may deposit factoids into the robot starting area. Then the spotter may place them into the correct bins of the sorting tray. Installed factoids are those inside a neural network node at the end of the match. Multiple factoids can be scored in each node, and bonuses are available for distributing data across a valid network. It is important to only use truthful data when training neural networks, so all factoids are scored based on the net true number of factoids in a scoring area. The net true number of factoids is the number of true factoids minus the number of false factoids in the same scoring area. If there are more false factoids than true factoids in a given scoring area, zero points will be awarded for that area. Most of the actions a robot takes towards building and training the neural network will score points. Factoids score points based on where they are at the end of the match. Robots that release Wall Street Dispatch gate latches earn points, with each opened latch worth fewer points than the latch before it. Each robot that releases factoids from a tweeter tower earns points. Constructing a neural network and selecting training models score points. And there are bonuses available for filling a valid neural network with data and matching the network structure to the selected task. Note that factoids are not owned by any specific team. Any robot can score any factoid, regardless of which quadrant the factoid came from. 
Remember to read the competition rules, field drawings, and official Q&A for all details on how to play Factoids.